Hey guys, what's up? Econon here, and today I'm going to show you how to add an awesome graphical effect to your Minecraft game. It makes it look so much better than without it. Uh, it is a little bit difficult to set up, but I'm here to guide you through the whole process of it. So, I recommend that you have a base FPS of about 100, like your computer average is about 100 FPS. If not, your FPS is going to uh, drop dramatically, and it's going to not be very enjoyable for you. Um, so, first of all, what you're going to do is going to locate your .minecraft folder, and you're going to locate the options.txt um, file. You're going to open that up, and you're going to scroll down, well, probably don't have to, but you're going to find the option called FBO enable, and you're going to set this variable to false. And then you're going to go to file and save. Now that that's done, you can X that out. And the next thing you're going to do is going down to the start menu here and typing in the typing in device manager. <clears throat> and it should be called like update device drivers, or it could be called device manager, either one. And this window should pop up here. You're going to locate the display adapters uh, section click the arrow to drop down and you're going to see that your graphics card is listed here. Um, if your display adapter says Intel HD and whatever number, this is not going to work. If it says NVIDIA GeForce, then you're going to look down in the description below for another video on how to uh, set this up because this video is targeted towards AMD devices. So it's recommended by me and by others that you have at least a Radeon HD 6000 series card or greater or 7000 series or the R9 series. It might possibly work on the R7 series and the HD 5000 series but I recommend the previous. So after you've located what graphics card you have and you made sure it meets the specifications uh, you're going to go to this website which is down in the description going to the Catalyst Control Center download uh, section. Uh, you're going to scroll down to either, if you want to automatically have it detect what you have and install them, cl uh, click download now. And, or you can manually select what you have and, you know, input all the stuff like desktop graphics, R9 series, stuff like that. And then you're going to do that and follow the installation process. And if you already have Catalyst Control Center, check this real, real quick to see if you have it type in catalyst and then it should pop up right here so once you have this installed go to the catalyst control center and you're going to um, add a profile and under gaming and 3d application settings or it can just be one of the few options because sometimes it'll not give you some options but go to gaming 3d application settings and you're going to locate the path of your Java so if you open up your launcher if you already know it, then you can just input it and just skip the step. I'm just showing you how to do it if, in case you don't know how. Go to Edit Profile, and you can see right here the executable section, and this is what you would put in for that. You'd click Add, and then you'd copy this right here, and then paste that in the top bar here. Hit Enter, and then that's what you would use so and then once that once you hit uh, OK it would bring up this Java w.exe and then after that you can go to the an, uh, anti-aliasing section and change the setting to override application settings change this to whatever value you want um, none would make it look like the normal game of course 2x looks like kind of decent 4x looks really really good anything higher than 4x is a little smoother but like 4x is kind of what you're shooting for to make it look really nice uh, I'm personally using 8x the filter you can use like standard edge detect I usually use standard um, then this is really important here the anti-aliasing method choose super sampling not the adaptive or multi sampling Morphological filtering doesn't matter, it doesn't really do much. Make sure you do not try to do texture filtering, it doesn't work right, and anything else just leave alone. So once you do that, you click save profile, and then it'll save all the settings to Java W. And make sure you're running it off a decent size, you know, RAM <laughs> uh, amount. And then you can click save profile, and then play your game. Hey guys, we're back, and as you can see, I have enabled anti-aliasing, and 
everything looks really nice. Like everything is so smooth. Like all the edges of the blocks, all of the edges of the grass and stuff like that, the trees. Just looks really, really nice. And I think this is a really like complete positive to add to your game. Even though like it will sacrifice some of your FPS. If you're getting like a couple hundred FPS and it shouldn't be a problem for you. You should be able to handle it. And I really wish some of your bragging rights of how many FPS you get to make your game actually look nice. And, um, yeah, if you're getting, like, about 100 FPS or so, you should try to enable this, like, at least 100 FPS, I would recommend. If you're getting lower than that, then just kind of stay away from this option, because it will, it will swallow some of your FPS. So, maybe about, like, 20 to 30 percent of it, so, yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope this helped you. Be sure to stay tuned to the next episode on how to make your game look better. And until then, see you guys next time.